What's up, YouTube? Hobo Nickel Barbecue back with you again, and Baloney Ring Ranch hit me with the Funky Spaghetti Challenge tag, so I'm tagged. Um, I'm gonna make the most decadent spaghetti you've ever had. Stay tuned. All right, guys, how are we gonna make this decadent spaghetti? Well, first things first, you gotta have really good noodles. I've got spaghetti noodles flown in from Italy. Next thing we're gonna do is take our sauce. I'll leave the recipe that I'm modifying up here as an eye card, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast some beef ribs and scoop out that bone marrow, add it to the sauce. We're gonna add sun-dried tomatoes for some umami, and then we're gonna add some fish sauce also. And then on top of that, we're gonna take um, some meatballs, which I ground up two Delmonico steaks here just a little bit ago. I'll show you that real quick. We're gonna take that ground up Delmonico steak meat, we're gonna make meatballs, smoke them in the smoker, and then we're going to take this gold leaf and lay it across there and make gold meatballs. End it all together, put the meatballs on top, give it a taste, we'll see how it turned out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. I got everything laid out here. Um, we're gonna treat this real simply. Um, I'll bring you guys in close so you can see what I'm doing. Um, got some extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna paint that on there lightly. Then we're gonna take this um, Dizzy Pig Red Eye Express rub. It's a coffee-based rub. We're gonna put that on there. I'm not looking to do too much on this because I want the other ingredients in the spaghetti sauce to kind of be the one that takes it. All right, Let's get these on here. We've got our Weber kettles set at about 350, 375. Get these all roasted up. I'm actually gonna set this one. All right, we got these laid out flat. We're gonna take this rosemary. We're just gonna put a sprig of each on here. Yeah, we'll go with two. Kind of let that melt in as the marrow starts to render. All right, this should take, I'm guessing, a half hour, 45 minutes. I'll bring you guys back and we'll see how it turned out. All right, guys, our beef ribs are coming along awesome. Thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek. We're gonna start working on the sauce now. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got most of the spaghetti sauce already put together. Um, like I said, I followed that recipe that I put a link in the iCard and it'll be down in the description. But the one thing I didn't do is I didn't add the olive oil because these sun-dried tomatoes are suspended in olive oil. So we're gonna take this entire jar and add it in there. Put that mixed in there. Then we're going to add this fish sauce. This will give a nice little pop of flavor. I'm not a measure guy. I'm more of a mix it up, see how it tastes, go from there, add, subtract as needed. I could use a little more. All right, we're gonna keep uh, stirring this and letting all the flavors meld together. Uh, beef ribs are about done. When they're done, we'll scoop out the marrow, we'll add it to the sauce. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. The, uh, these bones look amazing. Spin this around so you can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna let these cool off for just a minute and then uh, we'll scoop that bone marrow out. In the sauce. All right, guys. First things first, we're gonna get rid of the rosemary off here, best we can. Ooh, that just is amazing. Well, that's gonna add so much depth to this sauce. All right, we'll get this mixed in, and we're gonna let this thing cook really, really low for probably the next couple hours. All right, on to the meatballs. All right, guys, we got the, uh, the kettle tuned down to about 250, 275, so let's make these meatballs. Like I said, we just ground this steak up, so 
I'm gonna make some decent sized meatballs. Um, probably make four of them. Ends up that uh, I'm cooking for just myself tonight, so I'm gonna reserve some of this ground up meat to make a, a, a really good burger probably tomorrow. All right, get the glove off. We're gonna use the same rub that we used uh, on the bones. We're gonna go lightly on this. We don't wanna overpower this. This is just a, another layer of flavor. All right, let's get these on the smoker. All right, we'll check on these in about a half hour, see where they're at, go from there. Hey guys, we're back. It's actually getting really nice out. I had to take the sweatshirt off. Um, just temp probed the meatballs. They're at about 135, so I'm gonna go inside the house and cook up the spaghetti. I'll show you parts of it. See ya. All right, I couldn't not show you that cool shot of me pouring in the water. See ya when this stuff finishes cooking in 13 minutes. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, just temp probe these, they're at 165. We're gonna get these meatballs off and get them on the cutting board. I'm gonna let these cool off a little bit. Then we'll try to figure out how to gold plate some meatballs. See you in a second. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I tried gold plating these meatballs. They didn't turn out real pretty, not gonna lie to you. It's a really hard endeavor, but we got some gold on there. Uh, we've got some two-year-old Parmesan cheese that we're gonna grate on here real quick. You know what, I'll do it this way and be all camera ready. All right, we got more on the table than we did in the plate, but hey. All right, guys, let's taste this. Cold plate of meatball with the sauces. All right, so here's what I'm tasting. The, the, the sauce has a richness that I can't even explain. Uh, the meatball, I don't know how to show it to you, but there's a good smoke ring to it. Um, I'll try to get some of these noodles in here. Italian noodles are a lot better than American noodles. I'm not going to lie. All right. One more bite. That may be some of the best tomato sauce I've ever made to put on something. So I'd recommend you guys try it. Play around with it. See what works for you. Uh, gold pudding meatballs. Eh, kind of. It's hard. I had to take it inside. Couldn't do it with the wind. And even with that, the, the little pieces come out hard. And if it's not something flat, it doesn't fit very well. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. All right, I forgot to tag three people. I'm going to go with uh, Everyday Barbecue, Barlow Barbecue, and Kent Vanderweerd. See you guys. I look forward to your videos. Bye. Baloney boy, thanks for tagging me. This was fun. Didn't work out the way I expected it to, but does it ever? Um... Every cook on YouTube is kind of a learning experience, and I had fun doing this. I'm never screwing with gold again, but this was a good time. Lighter.